Drawing in color may seem overwhelming at first, but when you learn these tips and tricks, you'll begin to see color in a different light. To begin, I'm going to add a few tonal layers with this gray lavender. The subtle purple will pair nicely with the green to come. This cat's fur has hints of green. I remember seeing someone with green eyes wear plum eyeshadow and thought, wow, that purple really makes green pop. That's when I started using this combination in my drawing. It's interesting when unusual sources give you inspiration for art. Now even though I sharpen to a fine point, I don't apply a lot of pressure when drawing. Light layers of detail give me more control over drawing. It allows me to erase mistakes and erase to reveal highlights as well. Sometimes there's breakage no matter how careful you are with sharpening, so I work with it as is. This seashell pink is a nice balance between pink and beige to add a warm layer of color. If you're ever unsure of the color, choose the closest match, or better yet, use more than one color. When it comes to dark, defining details like the eyes and signature stripes, layering with browns or grays is the way to go. Save the black colored pencil for the final details. Blending with a soft tissue flattens the layers. And since the layers are light, you can still erase to reveal highlights. I'll show you how further in this demo. Since this cat's fur looks green in some light, and because I can't quite figure out what green it is, I'm using a blend of apple green and slate gray. The cool blue tones in the gray will mute the brightness of the green. Remember the purple underneath? You may not see it clearly, but that will make the green pop. The nectar that I used for the nose and ears is pink. That will make the blue in the slate gray pop. I learned this trick from a magazine ad in which the model with blue eyes wore pink blush and pink eyeshadow to make her eye color pop. Sometimes you'll learn about art outside the classroom, in unexpected places. For me, it just happens to be related to makeup. Since the layers are light, it's easy to reveal highlights and details with an eraser. Now that I'm happy with this color palette, I'm going to continue layering and adding more tonal value for drama. You don't have to be a longtime art student to learn about color. If you're curious enough to ask questions, you will find the answers you're seeking. Sometimes you'll find them outside the classroom and through unexpected sources, just like I did with makeup. Well, I hope you found this demo on color helpful. Thanks for watching.